Well, ringing the bell on the mission is Antron Brown at a regional. This top fuel star is Angel Sampe. The maturation of your driver in Antron Brown Motorsports Development Program. Your thoughts from Texas to Las Vegas and going into Pomona. Well, the main thing is we're getting better. We're getting better with every step of the way, and we've been very fortunate with the group of people we got to do this with. You know, with the McCallick brothers first, uh, with Corey and Kyle. They did a great job, and they're coming over here with Samsels. It's just like we've been very fortunate partnering with the right people to actually go through this with Angel with the mission on the side of the car. With Mission Gitrex, Hanksifers, and FEP, folks are stepping on. And uh, Mako always having our back. It's just one of those deals where I have this vision on, you know, the ABM Accelerate program is not a, a, just a driver development program. A lot of people have a misconception of that. I call it the assist program. We go through all walks with people where if they need help putting the deck together, if they need help uh, consulting about how to manage the race team or how to do this or do the logistics, we can help there. If we need help on doing graphics, artwork, design, we can do that also. So we're kind of like a all-together shop, like a library shop. We're there for the assist. We're not there to hand out sponsorships and stuff like that. A lot of people think, hey man, sign me up, I won't be part of this program. It's not that. We're there to assist you to be the best version of yourself to move forward. And that's what it's all about. And seeing Angel come on board with her relationship with Mission and doing what we do where we went out a race, barely made the show, but then went to the semifinals. Then we had one race and we come back out and we qualified number one. And uh, we, we, like, we lost first round, but now we're here at the divisional where we qualified number three, made it through the first round, made it to the Elite Eight of the qualifying session. 17 cars and we qualified number three for eight car field. Now we're going into semifinals right now, and we got a really tough round matchup with the Vegas winner, with uh, with Jackie Fritz. So, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting right here. We got two women battling out, two beautiful women that are battling out against each other. So may the best female win, and it's going to be some fun, man, right here. So having a blast, watching Angel grow, and uh, it's been really cool, man. It's been really cool to be a part of it and watch all this happen. turnaround process underway for Chris Marshall's hot rod that he is piloting here at this regional at Las Vegas and you get a rematch of the national event. Sean Bellamere took you out. You got an opportunity here, Chris. I do. I sure do. It's always fun racing Sean, you know, but uh, he, he tries to kill me on the tree. He got me good last weekend. I'm not going to let that happen again. These converter cars can leave with the best of them and that's what we're going to do. And now we look to semifinal action for the top alcohol competitors here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Angel Sampe made mention that, well, this is the first regionals that she has ever competed at, and she certainly does like the pace of the race. She will face the Nevada Nationals winner on Monday, Jackie Frick, in the semifinals. The other pair to face each other will be Sean Cowie, who went top speed and low ET of round one, going up against Rich McPhillips Jr. in the ride that Tony Stewart has been piloting in the 2023 season. With the floppers, yes, Chris Marshall's got an opportunity for redemption against Sean Bellamere, who took him out in the national event. And you have Brian Howe up against 2023 world champion Doug Gordon, which by the way, they in Gordon's have had Howe's number ever since they lost to him at the regional earlier this year at the strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I'm Lee Kraft here with this pit report from the strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. You can enjoy the action on NHRA.TV for free.